بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Math Grade 9 Geometry We are in the first model Today we have the last lesson in this model Lesson 7 Midpoints and Resectors Midpoints and Resectors So we want to learn the midpoint on a number line What is the midpoint? The midpoint of a segment is a point halfway between the end points of the segment. As you see here, we have AB segment. In the middle here, the point in the middle, M, this is the meaning of the midpoint. It means the distance from MB equal the distance from M to A. This is the meaning of the midpoint. So a point is equidistant from other points if it the same distance. And always, if you have point between two end points and this point have the same distance from the two end point means M B equal M A means M will be what? Equidistance, equidistance M B equal MA. So the midpoint separates the segments into two segments with ratio of one, one. Means this distance equal this distance. So you can use the section formula to derive the midpoint formula. So when you want to solve the midpoint, you have special formula to find this midpoint. And if you have the segment AB has in points at X1 and X2 on a number line, then the midpoint M of the segment AB has coordinate. So the midpoint, the symbol of the midpoint will be M equal x1 plus x2 divide y2. So you can use this rule when you have number line. To find the midpoint, you can use this rule. For example, find the midpoint of a number line. What is the midpoint of the segment xz? You have x here and z here. And we want to find the X point, the, the midpoint. So where is the midpoint? At the first, write the rule, the formula. M equal X1 plus X2 divided by 2. So X1 here, 8 plus X2, negative 3 divided by 2. So 8 plus negative 3 will be 5 over 2. 5 over 2 means 2.5. So the midpoint will be where? Will be 2.5, means here, in this case. What is the midpoint of the segment AF? And it must know what is the value of x1 and what is the value of x2 from the number line. x1 here 7 and x1 here negative 5. And we want to find the midpoint. So m equal at the first write the formula x1 plus x2 divide by 2 then substitute x1 x1 7 and x2 minus 5 over 2 
So seven minus uh, five will be three over two or one and one over two. Time. So here we have from Does seven minus five uh, two. two. Yes. So I have here wrong in the answer because I write here seven minus five, three. But seven minus five will be what? Two. two. Great. What is your name? Sheikha. Great, Sheikha. So the answer would be one. Sheikha, you are new? You are new? Yes, welcome, Sheikha, welcome. Thank you. So I want to, from all to focus with me very well to know if I do any mistake to correct my work, please. Fine. Midpoints in the real world. Uh, Pony works at a vintage clothing store. She wants to hang a new sign, so it is centered above the dressing room doors, given that the dressing room doors have the same width. So find the point along the wall that a pony should hang the new sign. Right. As you see here, we have this segment and we have here this distance. Here, as you see, we have X1. Here we have X2. We want to find the midpoint. The first C point, the midpoint, the right point and the midpoint formula. So M equal X1 plus X2 over 2. What is the X1? X1, 7.5. And X2 will be 13.5 divided by 2. And if you add 7.5 to the 13.5, you will get 21 over 2 means 10.5. So the midpoint will be 10.5. This is from the real life. And this question also from the real, real life. George travels from his school on 13th Street to the library on 62 Street. He stops halfway there, the, there to take a break. Where does George stop to rest? The first end point here in the school, as you see, the number will be 38. And the end point here in the library, the number will be 62. And we want to find the midpoint. So you can add 32 plus 62 divide by 2. 38 plus 62 will be 100. 100 divided by 2 will be 50. So the midpoint will be here. The midpoint will be here. Now, midpoints on the coordinate plane. And the, the previous idea in the number line. Now, in the coordinate plane. So, the section formula can be used to derive the midpoint formula for a segment on the coordinate plane. Because the midpoint separates the line segment into a ratio 1, 1, means the midpoint in the middle and the midpoint, the distance from the midpoint to the two end points is, e is equal. So substitute one for M and N into the formula. The midpoint, when you have coordinate plane, you can use directly this rule. X1 plus X2 divided by two and Y1 plus Y2 divided by two. 
Suppose you have this segment. If you have segment BQ has end points at BX1, Y1, this end point, and Q, X2, Y2, this the second end point, and you have in the middle here the midpoint M on the coordinate plane. You have here coordinate plane. So then the midpoint M of B uh, segment BQ has coordinate using this formula x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. For example, find the midpoint on the coordinate plane, find the coordinates of M, the midpoint of the segment AB for the A equal negative 2, 1 and B equal A, 3. So at the first line, the formula, always when you have coordinate plane, when you have coordinate plane, use this formula. M midpoint equal X1 plus X2 over 2 and Y1 plus Y2 over 2. Then substitute. Where is X1? This is X1, negative 2. And where is X2? 8. Divide by 2. Then Y1 means 1. And Y2 means 3. Divide by 2. So, negative 2 plus 8 will be 6 over 2. And 1 plus 3, 4 over 2. 6 divided by 2 will be 3. And 4 divided by 2 will be 2. So this is the midpoint. This is the midpoint. The second example. Find the coordinates of B. The midpoint of the segment AC. For A negative 3, negative 2, and C, 5, and 10. Right. We want to know the information about the two points here. We have the point A, as you see here, negative 3, negative 2, And the information about the second point, C equal 5, 10. C equal 5, 10. And we want to find the B, B the midpoint. The uh, formula is x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2, divided by 2. Great. So x1 plus x2 over 2, and y1 plus y2 over 2. Then substitute. Negative 3 and 5. Negative 3, x1 here, negative 3, and x2 here, 5. Divided by 2. And then negative 2 uh, plus 10 divided by 2. And negative 3 and the plus 5 will be 2. 2. And, over. and negative 2 plus 10 will eight. be 8. Over 2. So 2 over 2 or 2 divided by 2 will be 1. And, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Big one. So the point will be 1, 4. The point will be 1, 4. Great. 
then we can use this rule to find the missing coordinates. For example, find the coordinates of A if B3 and 1 over 2 or 1 half is the midpoint. This is the midpoint. We know now the midpoint of the segment AB. And B has coordinate 83. We know the first endpoint, but we don't know the second endpoint. So first, substitute the known formation into the midpoint formula. We don't know A. So A will be X1, Y1. We know B, represent X2, Y2. And we know the midpoint. So start from the formula, midpoint M equal X1 plus X2 over 2, Y1 plus Y2 over 2. So now substitute. The midpoint will be 3 and half. The midpoint will be 3 and half. Uh, we don't know X. So X missing value. So write X. We know X2. X2 will be 8. We don't know Y1. So represent Y1. We know Y2 will be 3. Over to over. Next, write two equations to solve for X1 and Y1. What the meaning of this equation means the value of X here equal 3 and the value of y here equal 1 over 2. So we have two equations. The first equation, 3 equal x1 plus 8 over 2. 3 equal x1 plus 8 over 2. We can solve this equation. We can do a, pro a cross product. 3 times 2 will be 6 equal x1 plus 8. Then x1 equal uh, 6 minus 8 means negative 2. And from the next equation, y1 plus 3 over 2 equal 1 over 2. You can multiply the two sides by 2, you will get 1 equal y1 plus 3. Then y equal what 3? Uh, 1 minus 3 will be negative 2. So now we know the value of x. 1 will be negative 2, and the value of y1 will be what? Will be negative 2. So the coordinate of a will be what? Negative 2, negative 2. Then you can graph this statement. Plot the point on the coordinate plane to check your answer for uh, reasonable analysis. Okay. Uh, the first the first point B, you know it, 8 in X3 and Y will be here. And you know the midpoint will be 3 and 0 0.5 will be here. And you solve the end, the first end point A, negative 2, negative 2. If you have the three point in the same line, means your work true, means your work true. The second example here, Find the coordinates of Q. Is R6, negative one is the midpoint. So we know the limit point. The name of the midpoint here, R6, negative one. R6, negative one. This is the midpoint. This is the midpoint. And the missing value here, Q. So Q represent X1, Y1. And we know the second endpoint S124.
The second uh, uh, end point represent X2, Y2. And we want to find the missing value here. What is the value of X1? And what is the value of Y1? So start from the formula. M R mod point R equal write the formula here x1 plus y1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2 then substitute we know the midpoint 6 negative 1 We don't know the value of x1. This is missing value. So represent x1 plus. We know x2. x2 will be 12. And we don't know the y1. Represent y1. And we know y2 will be 4. And in this kind of equations, this equation means we have two equations inside the same equation. The first equation, x1 plus 12 over 2 equal 6. x1 plus 12 over 2 equal 6. How to solve this equation? You can put here the denominator one, then two across the product. Across the product. So x1 plus 12 times 1 will be x1 plus 12 equal 6 times 2 will be 12. You can twelve to the uh, take twelve to the next side will be negative twelve, so twelve minus twelve. So x one equal zero. So q means the value of x will be zero. Then you can take, write the second the second equation y1 plus 4 over 2 equal negative 1 equal negative 1. So y1 plus 4 over 2 equal negative 1. You can write the denominator here 1 then do a cross product. y1 plus 4 times 1 will be y1 plus 4 equal negative 1 times 2 will be negative 2 then you can take 4 to the next side here we have y1 equal here we have, you have negative 2 and when you take it 4 to the next side will be negative 4. Then, y1 equal negative 2 plus negative 4 will be negative 6. So, q will be 0, negative 6. Do you have any question about this idea here? No. Okay. So zero negative six. The second idea in this lesson the basic term. What the meaning of the 
receptors. Because the midpoint separates the segment into two congruent segments, we can say that the midpoint bisects the segment. B6 means divide to the two equal sides. T here, divide or separate RQ to the two equal sides. Two TQ equal to R. So bisect the segment. Any segment, line, plane, or point that bisect a segment is called a segment bisector. A segment B sector. So this is the meaning of the uh, segment B sector or the B sector. For example, here find the missing measures. Find the measure of the segment RT if T is the midpoint of the segment RQ. Now we know we have segment RQ, we have T in the middle point. The distance from R to T equal 2x plus 3, and the distance from T to the Q equal 4x minus 5. To find the measurement of uh, the basic door or of the segment, must to know what is the value of x. How to know the value of x? When T in the middle means TQ equal TR. So because T in the midpoint, RT equal TQ. So use the equation to solve for X. So we can write RT, RT equal TQ, TQ. Then substitute. What is the distance of RT? TX plus 3. So write here, RT equal TX plus 3. Equal. What is the distance of TQ? Equal 4X minus 3. Then try to solve this equation. Uh, you can subtract 2x from the two sides, 4x minus 2x, you will get here 2x. And you can subtract uh, 5 from the two sides, you will get here 8. So 8 equal to x. Divide by 2 here, divide by 2 here, x equal 4. Now you know the value of x. Now you can solve what is the measure of this side and what is the measure of this side. So RT, RT equal 2X plus 3, substitute here the value of X here. So 2 times the value of X4, right here 4, plus 3, 2 times 4, 8, 8 plus 3 will be, will be 11. So here 11 means here what? 11. If you check here what is the value of 4 of x 4 4 times 4 16 16 minus 5 will be 11 so here 11 and here 11 because t the net point in this example find the measure of the segment rc s is the midpoint of the segment RT. We want to find the segment RC. We want to find this distance. So we can start from RC equals CT to write equation to find the value of X. So We can write 7x minus 5, 7x minus 5 equal 6x plus 4. So we can solve this equation. Uh, take the variable to the variable in the first side and the number to the number in the second side. So 7x. Here, when you transfer 6x to the first side, will be negative 6x. Equal, here you have 4, 
when you transfer negative five to the next side will be positive five. five. So seven X minus X will be X and four plus five will be nine. So you know the value of X now, X equal nine. And we want to find the measure of RS, this segment. What is the value of RS? 7x minus 5. So RS equal 7x minus 5. Then substitute the value of x. Substitute the value of x. 7 times the value of x will be 9 minus 5. So 7 times 9 will be 63, minus 5 will be 58. So we have four choices. The correct one will be number B, 58. Who has any question about this idea? Here the same idea, but here we want to find the total length. Find the measure of the segment AC, the all segment. If you have B, the midpoint, we know now B, midpoint of the segment AC. So the same idea, you have AB equal BC to write the equation, AB equal BC, then 5X minus 3, equal to x plus 9 you can solve this equation you will find the value of x will be what will be 4 and you want to find the all measurement so ac equal what ab plus bc means 5x minus 3 plus 2x plus 9 ac equal 5x minus 3 this part plus this part plus 2x plus 9. So, uh, substitute uh, the value of x will be 4. So, 5 times 4, negative 3, plus 2 times 4, plus 9. You can solve this operation, you will get, get the measurement of AC will be uh, 34, or the measure of the segment AC is 34. In this idea, this is this is the last idea in our lesson. Find the measure of the segment AC, the all segment. If B is the midpoint and of the segment of AC, uh, round your answer to the nearest tenths if necessary. We will start uh, from AB equal BC. Means we can write Three M plus four equal eight uh, M plus seven. And we cancel this equation. Uh, we can take the variable to the same side of the variable and the number to the same side of the number. So we can write here 3m minus 8m equal 7 minus 4. So 3m minus 8m will be minus 5m equal 7 minus uh, uh, 4 will be 3. Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. So m equal negative 3 over 5. And, uh, we can do uh, in the calculator 3 divide uh, by 5. Using the calculator, 3 divided by 5 
equal 0 0.6. Now we know the value of M. Then go back to the question. We want to find the all measurement. So AC equal what? Equal AB plus BC means 3M plus 4. Plus. 8m plus 7. Then you can add the like terms. 3m and plus 8m will be 11m. And 4 plus 7 also will be 11. Then you can substitute, put the value of M, 11 times 0 0.6 plus 11. And if you multiply 11 by 0 0.6, you will get 6.6 .6 plus 11. 6.6 .6 plus 11, you will get 17.6. This is the measure of the segment of AC. This is the all AC. This is the all AC. So, who has any question about this idea? Is it clear for all? No questions? No question. Okay, so... Inshallah, next week we have a quiz in the first model in, in, in geometry. So study very well. We want to do the quiz inside the, the class. So thank you for your listening. This is our video uh, for today. See you inshallah in next Monday. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.